Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Schoology gradebook so that it syncs to your PowerSchool gradebook. But before I get into that, one thing I wanted to mention is if this is an option you are going to use the Schoology gradebook, you need to use it exclusively. And what I mean by that is putting everything in your Schoology gradebook and having it sync to a Power, your PowerSchool gradebook. If you do a couple things in your Schoology gradebook and it syncs over, which is great, but then you decide you wanna manually put in some grades from something in PowerSchool, it does not sync backwards. So what I mean by that is it syncs from anything you put in Schoology will sync to PowerSchool, but if you put it in PowerSchool first, it does not sync back to Schoology. So just keep that in mind um, and using this exclusively. This video is gonna cover how to set it up um, and then we'll, there'll be some additional videos on some different things on the gradebook itself. So first thing you need to do is when you are in one of your courses, Two things to point out on the left hand side, you actually see grade setup, and then you should see an app that says PowerSchool. So the first thing we need to do is go to grade setup. And what we're gonna do is right here, and if you remember, we did this with PowerTeacher Pro, you need to set up categories. I'm gonna switch to PowerTeacher Pro, and if you remember, if I first logged in, I can click on grading and get to my categories. That's where I'm at right now. Some of these have been there. You know, I'm in a sample one right now for a middle school teacher. The, a lot of these you might not even use. You might only use a couple of them. What you need to do, and these are already set up for you or you have already created. When you go back to Schoology, there are none here. So we need to create categories that we're going to use. So for example, if from here I only use classwork, project, quiz, and test, here we need to create those same four. And then what we need to do is go to the PowerSchool app and kind of map them. So we're going to go through that together, but I just wanted to kind of give you that broad overview. So first, I'm going to add a category. So just for a sample for this video, I'm going to add classwork and project. So when I go to add a category, I can hit add. I'm going to call it classwork. And one thing to point out is they need to be verbatim exactly how they are in here, or you'll have some issues with syncing. So I'm going to hit create. And the other one was project. Okay, so you're going to create all of the ones you use within the categories from your Power Teacher Pro gradebook. So you would do that right here under grade setup. You go to add, just add any ones that you want. You're not changing the period because it should say 2020-21. And then you have some options, keeping it numeric. You have some controls. Do you want to have the ability to eventually override things? I would suggest that. Do you want to have the ability to override the total points? Um, so there's just some things you'll be able to fine tune with your own gradebook for that meets your needs. Once I'm done, I'm going to go down and hit save changes. So you can see I have classwork now and project. So now what we need to do is we need to go to that PowerSchool app on the left hand side of your course. And what you're going to do is we are going to map them so that they match. So that when you add an assignment or something in Schoology, it knows how to put it inside of PowerSchool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to configuration. So right here, it says map your Schoology categories to your categories in PowerSchool. So all that means now is right here, it says we created classwork and project. I need to match it up. So obviously that's not chapter test. Here's my classwork. And then project is down here. And all this is doing is that when you put something in Schoology, it knows as soon as you mark it as classwork, it's going to sync the grades and push it to PowerSchool and mark it as classwork. So this comes into play, you know, if your class is weighted, things like that. You can set that all up as you normally did, and all you're going to do in Schoology is attach that category to it. So when it pushes it to PowerSchool, it knows exactly what to weight it, what the category is, and so on. If you forgot to add a category, I can go back to my grade setup and do it, or I can also go here to add, and I can create one. So that is all you need to do is to map them. So now when I hit Save Changes, I'm good to go. And you can see my category configurations have been saved. The other thing you should always do is check this off. Basically what this doing is it says it li PowerSchool limits the characters for assignment titles to 50 characters. And this is gonna automatically shorten it so it doesn't go over that and have any syncing issues. 
So now once you have this all configured, just a sample, if I want to go and add an assignment, you would give it your typical name, when it's due, things along that nature. But then when it says category, and you can see it has that star, so you always have to choose this. And when you were playing around, getting used to it, you probably always chose ungraded. Now you can see that classwork and project is here. I would say, okay, this is gonna be a project. And then the nice thing about this, you can see it's gonna sync. Um, you can always force a manual sync and we'll get into that in other videos. But for the purpose of this, we just wanted to get that, the Schoology categories created and matching to the PowerSchool one. So that is all you would need to do. And you can do that for discussions, assignments, all kinds of different things. Um, assessments, so if you did an assessment, it would grade it for you. It would know where to put it in your gradebook and it would sync it right to PowerSchool without you having to touch a button at all, um, depending on your setup, which is really nice. So it's really important to make sure that those categories are correct. And again, you don't have to do every single category that you have in PowerSchool, only the ones that you use and then you go back and you just make sure that you match them exactly. And I know I mentioned it before, but it is very, very important to make sure that you um, spell it exactly the same. So if I have extra credit, make sure it's capital E, capital C, or here is an I and a dash, make sure it's exact. Otherwise you, you can have some potential issues with syncing so that they match exactly. Um, and then whenever you have things come through, those grades would sync, but from this other tab, you can always sync the changes. And this is just a sample, that's why there's an error. But if there ever was an error, you would be able to see why that was an error. And you can see this one because there was no category. And again, this is just a, a sample. So that is all you need to do for the setup. And if you have any questions, let me know.